I balance the skill. I balance the skill. Libra in the ass, Libra, Libra, Libra in the ass. I'll shake that ass, Libra in the ass. Oh, shake it. I'm in the ass. Get that Libra in the ass, Libra in the ass. What's going on, Libra? <laughs> nice to meet you. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. We're finna get into it, all right? Got a little bit of rain playing in the background. Hopefully soothe you a little bit before we get started with this reading. Mm -hmm. Libra in the ass. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Took it back to the old 2000 hip hop, huh? What's up, Ryan? Ooh, not having victory in something or not getting attention from someone here. Someone's not speaking to you or just making things really, really cloudy for you, okay? That's the overall energy here. All right. Okay, the emperor. So... This person here, I mean, I feel like um, for those people, for some of you guys, this could be the father of your child. Um, someone, um, this is Aries here. Someone who um, is a leader, shows leadership qualities, a very, very um, generous person um, here is what I'm looking at here. Um, someone's very, very protective. So they could have been very protective over you, very protective over the situation. Um, we do, it could be an Aries. Uh, we do have here the, um, the two of Pentacles in reverse. So, we have a person here who is sure, I would say, in the love reading, who is sure, is not juggling you, pretty sure of you. Um, could be an Earth sign as well. So, we're going to go ahead and, and go into this reading. I don't see any red flags yet. So, let's go ahead and uh, get into this Emperor here. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. Well, this emperor here thinks you're, first of all, emotionally um, got it together and very beautiful. They want to tear you apart. But it's just the thing is, they're not making a new beginning yet. They're not actually going towards that. But at the end of the day, they're, tr they're going to end up I think making peace with you or this person could be wanting to message you, but I guess they're trying to find their balance right now with what I'm getting here for those who are not in contact with them. Um, but I do see them here wanting you back in some sort of way or another, okay? Or maybe they just want to be balanced. They just want to be, um, if you guys have kids together or whatever, they just want to remain friends or be in good standings with you. This person here has been very, very sad here, okay? This person has been very, very sad, especially their water sign, okay? Um, I feel like they're keeping that from you. They really want to reverse the tower here. I see that they want you back. I want you back, please. Can I have sloppy seconds? I mean... <laughs> anyway, it goes. They want you back, okay? Um, I think they want to reverse the tower moment with you. Um, let's get some more about this person here. We're going to dig a little bit deeper because I, from what I'm getting here, in the past, this person was um, pretty decent here. Okay, well, it's for seven of slaves. So this person was, like I said, protective of you, I believe. And they're still protective of you. Which could be kind of psychotic, right? No one will have you but me. <laughs> yeah, but then again, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So they may not be offering a new beginning. To you. It's weird. It's really fucking weird. Weird beard. All right. 
they secretly watch you. They're stressed out, worried about this. I guess they're worried. I don't know what they're worried about, but they definitely watch you and they're worried. There's so much worry, they can stick a tongue between it. Oh, 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 all right. They're part of the Red Sea with their worries. They're secretly, they secretly want to start a new beginning. I'm getting maybe you closed off from this person here. I'm getting Libra because I'm getting this person here as like return energy, return energy, but somehow they're not doing a, a new beginning. It could be because you've closed off from them. I do have two of swords in your present position here. Let's get one more. Yeah, they can't get in touch with you and that's making them very, very weak. Very weak in your mind. They feel like they're in an episode of Hellraiser. Oh, 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 oh. All right. They're just they're in an emotional blender here thinking about you. Man. Let's get the emotions behind this. I'm really, really curious about this. What's going on? The lion's upside down tonight. Can you feel the love tonight? She won't pick up the phone. <laughs> Or he won't pick up the phone. Compassion. Yeah, they want to be caring towards you. Oh, they think you have a third party. They're suspicious of you. You're not being with them. Mm-hmm. Oh, they feel lonely and left out in the cold. They want you to trust them. But they don't trust you. What the fool? Somebody's watching me. And I got no privacy. They're jealous. Oh, they don't want to lose you, man. But you're over here. You're in this closed-off energy here. Um, two of swords. So you're like this. And, um, yeah, basically emotionally closed off here. Um, I think you still feel the emotion, though, as well, though. I mean, but at the end of the day, it's like I'm just going to ignore all this in the background here that's going on here. And I'm just going to, like, keep away. You're in indecision right now, and I feel like as much as you want this person, as much as you would want to work this thing out with this person, it feels like every time it just doesn't go anywhere. This person has showed some weak characteristics, nine of cups in reverse, so things haven't been really on the up and up. But I feel like, you know, it's like that's what's holding you back from taking this leap of faith. It's because, what's, what, why, why, why are you closed off? Why are you closed off? Hmm. I think emotionally this person has not, yeah. This person has did something like made you feel unwanted or unneeded. Or they just were just had a bad attitude towards things. They weren't really paying attention to you like that. It's like you cutting them off. It's probably the only reason why they are um, even acting like this. Because before they weren't even doing all that. Hmm. You got two cards of wish, wish fulfillment unfulfilled. This person wasn't being vulnerable with you. They kind of made you feel bad. And now that you're leaving them, they want they want you. Why does this person want you back? It definitely caused you heartbreak here. They're, they, they're, they're not clear about it. They're not clear why they want you back. The double card. So they just, they want to. Oh, oh. So they want, so they definitely want you back. But for toxic reasons. So this person is toxic, right? They have some codependency. It's like, even though they're not even clear on why they want you back, they want you back. 
They want your ass. They want to put the tongue underneath this ass and go, uh, can I reach it? They're going to be communicating with you. There's going to be communication from this person here. All right. Let's find out what kind of communication this is. I didn't know we we're dealing with a devil. They want to put things. Hmm. They want to put an end to some things because like they know the relationship is over and they know that you haven't really been messaging like that and they want that cycle to end, transform from that. So they may be coming in with hot communication from a devil. Can I get some more? Because they're coming in, all right? What's going to be, what are they going to speak to you? How are they going to come in and speak to you? I'm still on their emotions, but they're gonna want to build with you. They're gonna they want to build with you, but they're gonna come in like cold or like not as emotional. But you're gonna tell that they're emotionally unbalanced. But they want victory with you for sure with the six of slaves here. They want their ass back. What's the double card at? Can I have my ass back? Get it out of my face. Even focusing on your money, Libra, um, your stability. Um, I think if anybody comes in here less than, you know, on top of their shit, you're not going for them. And I feel like um, some of you guys may reunite with this person if they step their shit up, step their game up with the two of uh, cups here or... You could be getting yourself ready for new love. Definitely, you guys could be seeing double numbers here um, with the four of rods here. Double numbers. Um, relationship. Hmm. This one here is tricky, Libra. It's like. I think you don't want a relationship with this person. I think it may be new love you guys are after. Um, but if some of you guys who want this relationship, it may go back to shit or you may not have much faith in it. And you might be on your last leg with that, okay? If you do give this person a chance. Okay, I do see a reunion card here. Okay, for those who are going to reunite with this person here, and it's your call universe is saying it's okay to do so um with the trumpet and the um you guys can re reverse the heartbreak or whatever the case may be all right for those who don't want it i feel like the judgment is going to be you moving on from this person here i feel like you've seen everything you need to see you've heard through the grapevine everything you need to hear what's your, what's your advice what's your advice It's telling you to put it into this relationship. That's your advice. All right. All right, for singles, what's coming in from a single law of rights? Equal give and take for somebody. Somebody who had a you he had a burden with wants to bring you equal give and take. And possibly want to marry you or have a higher level of commitment. Another round. Somebody is um, closed off from you, but they're going to come out of being closed off. Could be an Aries or a Virgo. They've been watching you. They want to move towards you. Your money might be looking good, too, as well, singles. They're going to be happy. A lot of people are going to be admiring you. All right. So that's for my singles. Let's get Oracle. All right, move beyond the current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Yeah, focus on what you desire and manifest it, Libra. You have that gift. Libras are very charismatic. Hope, love is yours. Recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts. Oh, man, that's always positive mes messages, alchemy. Always good. Better outcomes, right? 
Honor your sensitivity, retreat and recharge and heal. Your light can support others. Well, that's self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and get to your mantra and get you guys out of here. Loving is its own reward. The act of loving is the benefit of the risk. We all want to be loved back. We all want to be supported. But when you grow up, you see that it has nothing to do with how the person who receives your love reacts. And all about you just being willing to open your heart in this dangerous world. Be a gangster and love the fuck out of somebody today. Accept nothing back. Isn't that great? Well, this person in the past uh, with these toxic attachments definitely wants you back. So we're just going to tell him, you know, call upon the tarot gods and end this motherfucker right now. Or do what you want to do. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Love to have you guys back. Thank you. Bye.